Hey, golf clubs and back rubs. It's the end of a journey, folks. Hey everybody, my name is John, and welcome to ADITW, A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Today we are in the final week of our study of Ecclesiastes. And to be honest, I really hope that each and every one of you has gotten something out of this study over the last three months. I guess what I'm saying is, I hope it hasn't been meaningless for you. Get it? Meaningless? Because it, it's Ecclesi Ecclesiastes? Let's read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 says, Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. So hopefully you just noticed something a little strange about this passage. I don't know about you, but to me, this doesn't really sound like the Solomon we have come to know. The Solomon that wrote about how everything is meaningless and death is nothing but an empty void, so nothing we do here on earth really matters. Nothing really matters. That same Solomon is now giving us religious commands and talking about eternal judgment. What happened? Well, it would seem that on his search throughout writing this book that Solomon has come to several conclusions when it comes to life, meaning, and God. Firstly, he has come to the conclusion that it is actually worth it to obey God. And if it's worth it, he's going to work it. He's going to put his thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Solomon has come to the same conclusion that we have been talking about since the beginning. That a life lived apart from God is the only thing that is actually meaningless. But a life lived with God, in relationship, in obedience to Him, that gives us ultimate meaning and fulfillment. And secondly, Solomon now seems to be considering things from an eternal perspective. Earlier in this chapter, he writes about death as an eternal home. And here in the verse we just read, verse 14, it seems clear that he has come to believe that there will be a sense of ultimate justice one day. We will be held accountable for everything we do in this life. And if that's all true, then that means that what we do in this life really does matter. And this is actually the opposite of everything is meaningless. This would mean that Everything has meaning. God actually cares about even the small decisions that we make. He wants us as his children to live every single moment in the wisdom of his perfect and pleasing will. And we are able to do that by, as the writer said, keeping his commandments. In Proverbs chapter 9, this same writer, Solomon, wrote, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And here, at the end of this book, at the end of his long search for wisdom, Solomon has finally placed God in his proper place as the king of all things. And that's exactly what it means to fear the Lord, by the way. To fear God means to put God in his proper place in our lives. And with that in mind, it's actually impossible for us to fear God without keeping his commandments. Because if God's proper place is, as we said, king and ruler of all, we have to keep the king's commandments. We have to obey the ruler's wishes. In the end, Solomon has come to the place that many of us have been all along. Life is far from meaningless. And so friends, wherever you are today while you're watching this, I want to urge you to consider your life from an eternal perspective. Because God is real. And God is active. And it is only in that God that we can find what we have been searching for all along. That sense of ultimate meaning. That sense of ultimate satisfaction. Ultimate love. Ultimate fulfillment. Everything that you have been searching for in your life is found in that God.
Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this episode of ADITW. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to let you know that this episode is brought to you by Patreon. More specifically, you all who support this ministry on Patreon. For those of you who don't know, there is a group of incredible individuals who pledge a certain amount of money per month to help keep this ministry going and growing. There are so many of you out there who give $1 a month. Some of you give five, some of you give 20, some of you give even beyond that. And I just want to say a special thank you to all of you. You are a reason that we can continue to make these videos. And a special shout out to our top tier Patreon supporters, Tyler, Woody, and Candy Allman. Thank you for making this ministry go. If you want to become a supporter on Patreon, you can easily do that today by clicking the link in the description down below. But also, it's about to be on the end screen in just one second. It's a great way for you to help support this ministry. I will see you all next week for another ADITW. I love you all. Keep being awesome.